Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And last time, we pretty much deforested like an entire zone of the world to provide the amount of flyers that we used to advertise the, you know, slutty film that we were putting out. So now we get to see what the porn industry has for us today as we take our next mission with Martha's Mugshot. Mm. Oh, hey, you are taking it in the cakes already. Man, that accelerated okay. quickly. What's the Jeez. problem now? After his close encounter with the Nympho invaders, our hero finds himself unable to think of anything but this huge phallic yeah. mountain. And that's when I want to do the scene with the vat of mashed potatoes, but then... We'll I'm pretty sure that dude is mashing that. her potatoes right now. Just, just keep going, keep going. You mentioned something about some legal Because, <laughs> you know, all this extra dialogue on the side is going to go Alex great with this film. She's getting her vag cloud right now, and these guys are sitting here talking about legal issues on the side. support measures to restrict, shall we say, the more fleshy aspects of this nation's great Listen to this guy in the back right now. Okay, all right. Okay. Candy, you know Shrub. Okay, you guys get up to anything bar. kinky? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah. right. It's hard not to laugh oh, at yeah. it. Right. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, first of all, does this guy not totally sound like Ego Raptor a little bit? Like, this totally sounds like one of the voices he would do. That's really funny. It's so awkward. Like, I know you can't see anything. But, like, yeah. just the idea that you know what's going on. Like, it's hard for you to, like, not kind of envision what's going on. It's fucking weird. Also, I don't feel like, you know... Like, if it were me personally, I would never watch a porn flick in which a guy... Like, the guy was making fucking weird noises like that. Like, that's the last thing that I want to... That's, like, the last thing that I need. Like, if it were me... All I, I just want, I just want the fucking action. Like, I just want the, you know, the this and the that and the back and forth and the whole blah 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 blah. blah you know, I don't need this. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh that's the stuff. Oh man, oh yeah. Oh, ha, ha. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just want the pure, unadulterated, uncensored hot action. Like, that's what I'm talking about. But, you know what? We don't even need to be having this conversation right now, because it's fucking weird. But, yeah. So, basically, dude, this mission is awesome. Like, now that I now that I know what exactly is going on here with the camera, I, I, I remember this now. Like, we gotta, we get to go follow the old limo down to this little person's house, and we get to do some blackmailing, which is cool. Like, it's an awesome, you know, mechanic for, for a mission. Also, I am fucking starving right now. Like, I actually fully contemplated reheating my meat lover's omelet from Denny's and my cheese quesadilla before filming this. Uh, but then it hit me. I was like, you know what? I really want to get this mission done, and I can just eat while I'm rendering this thing anyways, because we all know how long it takes for that to happen. And it's too long. Not to mention Ghost Adventures is on, on the side right now, so like everything good in the world is happening right now. But I'll tell you one thing. Denny's Definitely, I've been sleeping on their omelets for too long, and I don't mean like I physically fell asleep on their omelet, but I've like, they have massively underrated omelets, man. Like this Meat Lover's omelet has fucking everything in it. It had prime rib, it had crumbled chorizo sausage, which I am actually fully surprised that I haven't been stricken by completely wild, crazy, insane, um blistering diarrhea at this point because that's typically what happens when I go with chorizo and I was really apprehensive about it but you know what hasn't happened yet so I'm good and there was also you know cheese and bacon and there were you know red and green peppers in there and it was covered in like this pepper jack queso sauce and I oh my god it's it's one of the better omelets I've had in a long time not to mention I got a cheese quesadilla on the side with it Patrol invest. Oh, pig! <laughs> because he's an officer, I get it. Blah blah blah. You know what? I can't be too critical of, of policemen. Like I, on an, on the general, I'm not a big fan of them. But my grandpa was a was an officer for like 30 years, so I can't like be too hard on him really. But that's kind of the big thing right now. Fucking everybody in the world hates cops to like the ultimate thing. Apparently that guy wants to be called Martha, so, you know, this, uh, everybody, I mean, everybody's got their own preference, you know? I mean, sometimes you just, you like what you like. Okay, so this is what we gotta do. We gotta, we gotta go hide this chopper in the back here, 
because somehow they didn't realize that I was flying behind them this entire time. So we're gonna we're gonna keep this thing right here. Oh shit. We need guns. I just realized that. I mean I could have I could have just, you know, gone over to, you know, ammunition and got myself some. And some uh, some armor, which would have been a really good idea, by the way. Because we don't have any, and that's more than likely going to come back on me and be an absolutely terrible thing. And I can't get out of this pool. Oh, here we go. I was hoping there'd probably be some back here, but I don't think that I'm going to find any. But there is a hidden package, and that's cool. Okay. Let's, let's just go back out here again. So... Yeah, dude, I'll tell you another thing, though. I have the absolute utmost respect for any waiter-slash-waitress that has to work at a 24-hour diner, you know, when you hit the night shift, like the after-hours one. Because, so, I'm there last night with Maddie, and it was probably, like, about 12.30 or 1 in the morning, and our waitress, and she's pretty cool, like, we've, we've had her a number of times, and so she's down with us and everything. And, uh, you know, we got our milkshakes, and she's like, okay, normally... If it were past, you know, like, 1 o'clock, I wouldn't even do milkshakes anymore. I'd just say, fuck it to the whole thing. And, um, hey, what does this say? I definitely thought I said the Samaritans first, but it's the Samartians. Don't just jump. Hyper jump. We're talking, like, the hyper jump from the Matrix, where, you know, you do the fucking bend down, and you jump, like, five bajillion feet in the air, and you land on the other building over there? Call 555-7000. <laughs> A number that simply does not exist. Alright, so this is the whole blackmail thing over here, which this camera has incredible zoom. So, I mean, you like what you like, and this dude wants to be called Martha, and he's, you know, he's got the the stockings and the, you know, high heels and the whatever fucking junk cover he's got going on right now. And so here we go. You just gotta take three little pics, Martha, and there you go. Someone's watching. How kinky. How would she know that? How would she know that we are standing all the way over here taking pictures like she didn't look at us? I mean, there probably wasn't flash on this camera, and I, you probably wouldn't hear the sound. You probably wouldn't hear the ching from all the way over there, so I don't know. Maybe she just has, like, this sixth sense. I mean, I guess she is in front of a camera all day, so maybe she would know. So... Yeah, and somehow by doing that, we tipped off every fucking policeman in the entire world besides the army. So, you know, this is going to be just fucking give, give great. Hey, guess what? Maybe I don't want to give you that camera. So you can go fuck yourself. Is he here? Nope, he's right down the next flight of stairs. But yeah, so she's like, you know, normally if this were any other group of people, I would probably say no to the whole, you know... Oh, come on. Down you go. Alright, I'm gonna go up a couple flights of stairs just so it doesn't blow me up by chance. Perfect. Okay. And uh, she's like, I guarantee you that I'm going to get a group of people tonight. And it's probably gonna be, you know, anywhere between seven to eight people. And they're all gonna want fucking milkshakes. I guarantee it. And, like, I wasn't gonna sit here and, you know, and, like, bet against her because, you know, she works here. So, obviously, she knows... You know, she knows how this type of thing works. No, go down the stairs. Here we go. This is definitely not the way I was planning on doing this, but you know what? It's working. And, you know, I'm not going to complain. And so, you know, we, we get our milkshakes, and I got a I got an Oreo one, by the way. I fucking love Oreo milkshakes. So good. And, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think there's a couple guys over here. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. And I, I swear to God, like, it was almost on cue. Right after she brought our milkshakes in, a group of, like, seven or eight kids that were probably, like, high school age. Somewhere, maybe, like, just out of high school. Like, somewhere between the age of, like, 17 to 20. They all came in, and they all wanted milkshakes. Like, they were they were sitting at a table, like, not too far away from us. And she, she you know, takes their order, and they're all being, you know, just a bunch you of fucking me. dicks. Um, Amy and they're all being loud, obnoxious. And, and she walks over, over to where we're at, and she just stops and gives us the look of, just fuck my life, you know? She's like, did I not call it, or did I not call it? We're like, yeah, you definitely did call it. So here's the big problem with this, uh, with this thing here, is that when we get back to the film studio, there's a very, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a big possibility we may get shot out of the air, so we gotta be real careful. And I mean really careful. So, yeah, dude, but 
the other, like, and part of the reason why I would hate being in her position is that she was the only waitress working last night. She was the only waitress working last night that I think there was only, like, one cook, maybe two, at best. And these fucking kids all ordered just these outlandish things. Like, they, they all ordered different things, and they all wanted a bunch of changes to it, just to accommodate their whatever. Like, this one kid wanted biscuits and gravy with no biscuits. And so, instead of, you know, the gravy, he wanted fucking hash browns, which, you know, no problem there. Like, that's a pretty cool thing, actually. Fucking, he wanted hash browns and cheese on it, which is fucking genius, by the way. Come on. Come on! Live! Live! Oh my god, I didn't think we were gonna make it. <sighs> Whew! That was close. That was really close. Holy ball sacks from the center of the earth. That was really close. Okay, so one thing that we're gonna do real quick, just to ensure that we live, you know, because living is a good thing. Is there a little hidden package in here? Oh, there's... Oh, there's armor right there! I could have totally had that earlier! And that would have been great. But, you know what? Sometimes you can't always have what you want. There's another hidden package. Nice. This has got to be one of our best episodes for a hidden package finding, by the way. I mean, this is, this is good. Okay, so is there... I could have sworn there was there was health in one of these rooms. Where, I don't, I don't know, but it's got to be around here somewhere. Hidden package on this thing? You think? You think we're going to get lucky on another one? Eh, probably not. No, nothing. Well, shit, dude. There's gotta be no one around here. But yeah, dude, biscuits and gravy with uh, with hash browns, gravy and cheese instead, which is totally in no way, shape, or form biscuits and gravy. But hey, sometimes you just you gotta have things a certain way. And there is no health here. I guess I was just totally off on that on that whole thing. All right, let's go take a, let's go take another mission here. G spotlight. I'm sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. Come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But Stevie. How's my star director? Man, her, oh, man. her boobs are huge, man. The humping, pumping action That's a unabated. compromising angle. And before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released <laughs> by their honey. Can you please keep the Andacon and the shoddy cost more per hour than you do? Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking we need some kind of big <laughs> stunt to really promote the launch. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? Boy, she's just having a well, gay old time over the there old right days, now. They used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, oh, mm. premieres. Oh, yes, oh. ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And the mm. press and the. Who the fuck is he talking to? We were like already gone. He's just like talking to himself. Go downtown and adjust the spotlight on top of the building. Lots. Oh no! Oh god. Fine. Dude, I remember this. This sucks. This mission is hard, if I remember correctly. Because using this little this little PCJ is just it's kind of a pain in the ass to try to get up on top of buildings and stuff. But we'll see what happens. But yeah, dude, I just I felt bad for her. Like, these kids, like, they kept on they kept on just making noise and they kept getting up from their tables and like going over to other tables and sitting at other tables, like, trying to throw her off, and it's like, stop being a bunch of fucking, you know, cum drinkers, and just stay in one spot, you know? And I'm pretty sure that they broke a glass, and, like, there was a certain point where we, like, we saw, uh, we saw, uh, her just, like, totally giving them all the business, and I totally wanted to stand up and clap and be like, yeah, you fucking tell them what's up. These kids are a bunch of fucking douchebags. But, you know, so that is that is partially why I never want to get into the business of, you know, serving people food or just being, you know, being a waiter anywhere. Unless it's, you know, somewhere, oh, unless it's like some, you know, super high class restaurant where you're getting some monstrous tips. <laughs> These guys are like, hey, what the fuck? That girl just, her leg just passed through solid matter. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> They're like, okay, well, have a nice day. Return to the lower office if you need to access the rooftops again. Smash the window to start the course. You have until 7 o'clock before it gets too light to get up there unseen. Oh, good. 
Um, so hold on a second. Are we just busting through this shit right now or what? Oh my god, we weren't even going fast enough. Wow, we really weren't going fast enough at all. That was terrible. Yep, I think I'll stick to retail and gaming, you know? That's 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 my jam right there. So I'll, I'll stick with these things. But now we have a different matter on our hands here. And I don't know how to get back to the front of this building. Oh, shit. See what I'm saying, man? This, this mission is not my ultimate favorite. Um, how do we... I think we need to, oh, we gotta go to this side. That's right. Or do we? What the fuck, man? I don't know how to get over to this place again. Ugh. God damn it. Yeah, that's what I need. God, man, that lady had a lot on her. You know what? You know what fuck you. you. The fuck out of here. Yeah, you run... Oh, no. Yep, we have opened up a can of worms now. That's just great. Yeah. This is just what I wanted. To tip off every policeman in the world. Um, dude, there's gotta be a way up to this place. I just don't know where to go to do it. Um, how do we get back into this building? Um, oh no. Welcome back. You are Ugh, welcome back. Oh shit. I mean, do we actually just... I can't imagine we're just going back into the building. Oh my... God fucking damn it! Ah. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, fucking people shooting at me. That's just what I need. And my bike is stuck in a spot where I can't even get it out. Fantastic. Fan-fucking-tastic. Oh, we probably have to go up that set of stairs, actually. I'm not gonna let him get me! I'm not gonna let him! Oh shit, we gotta hurry up, though. We got till 7 o'clock to figure this out. Definitely can't forget about that. Oh. Hey. Come on. Oh. Wow, I don't know how that worked, but it did. It most certainly did. Come on, up we go. Up we go. I think this is the right way to go now that I think about it. Is this the right... Th yeah, this is the right way to go. Okay. All right. This is, this is good. This is good. We're, we're back in business now. Things are on the upswing for me. It only took us a few minutes to kind of get our lives figured out. Whew! Man, how frustrating was that? That's part of the reason why this mission sucks. Like, if you don't know exactly what you're doing, you're going to have to do this a couple of times. But now that we know, now that we know, we're, we're in the clear here. Okay, so do we have a, do we have a straight look here, or do we got to adjust ourselves? Man, these people are here late. Why are they all here so late? Here we go. Yeah! Man, that would be so awesome. Holy shit. Okay, we ba we barely made that. Oh, this is the other reason why this mission is really hard. Because you have to know exactly what angle you're looking at here. Oh. Oh, God. And... Oh, no! That's the other reason why this is hard. God damn it. Of course, yeah, of course let's just go and mess things up again. So we gotta go back up. No, no, no. And somehow the cops are still hot on our trail somehow, even though we've been avoiding them pretty efficiently for a while now. Alright. Back up we go. Oh, oh, oh. Man, I love this song. So take these broken wings. I'll run your ass over if you get in my way. <sighs> I wish we could just like skip through this whole thing. Like, do we really have to see us going up here again? Like, and why are these people still in here? Like, they're just that that awkward couple that they're just like constantly having sex in this elevator. I don't really know. Like, they're just they're just in there. They're like they're not like the people that are actually, like, you know, that are like the, you know, the fucking bellhop guys that, that work the elevator. They're just, oh, they already replaced the window, huh? <laughs> like, all right, I just got this brand new window installed, everything should be fine. Here we 
we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we're going to do this the right fucking way. We still have a number of hours to get it done, so that's, that's always a good sign. Okay, here we go. Oh, shit. Of course, man! Of fucking course. God damn it. Of course that would happen. Why wouldn't that happen? Why wouldn't we have to go all the way up here again and make this the longest video in the world? I'm gonna get it, man. I'm gonna get it. I really am. Yeah, God. I would love to not be sliding around everywhere because it's wet out here. Come on, baby. Here we go. We are, we are gonna do it. Really? Really? Okay. Okay, yep, just barely tapping a wall and now our now our bike is just trashed. Well, that's just fantastic. Well, I guess we're not going to finish the mission in time. So, I mean, it's almost worth just getting arrested. Or something. Um, I mean, because... Wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was a bike. That is definitely not a bike. There's, uh, there's actually no other bikes around here. At all. Um... Well, shit, man. Where am I going to find another one of those things? I don't even know where to look. I don't know where to look for another bike. Oh, no. This is all sorts of bad, man. Um. Uh, ah! Didn't see you there. Oh, God. They're going to get me. They're going to get me. They're not going to get me. I'm not going to let them. No. Fuck you guys. Um, I don't want to save, like, being stuck in this mission, though. Alright, sweet death. Take me. Yeah, alright. I know, it's kind of a weird way to go, but we didn't really have a choice there. Alright, my friends. As much of a bummer as that was just now. Wow, this cab was really far away. Go take me over to my film studio, you... Man, that was a bummer. That was the ultimate bummer. But, I mean, I guess I have a little bit of a better idea how to do that now. Uh. Alright, guys. Well, here's what's going on. I, that really sucked. That entire last, like, seven minutes just totally blew ass. So, when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto Vice City, we are going to do that mission again. And we're not going to fail. We're going to fail. So, you guys take it easy, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.